Hey, hello everyone. Today I've got for service uh, the probably heaviest, largest, biggest, and probably the best uh, deck from Teak. It's a Teak model uh, 8030. Okay, I'm still looking where is this on the plate here. V8030. S. Hi. Looks pretty nice. Let's power on. Let's see. Okay, here is the power. Opens. Wow, it's like new. I'm not sure if you can see the head condition. That is a rare case these days when we can see it. I, a little bit dirty capstan shafts will be cleaning. So the major complaint is electrical tuning that it calibrates not very well. So it's front level. So what I will be doing, like I will be uh, cleaning, uh, lubricating tape transport, and we will do electrical tuning for this guy. As of now, let's let's see how it perform. So we get a test tape. So fast forward works. Play back works uh, they connected to the wrong connectors no oh, still don't see anything on the output I see here on display. But I don't see anything on the deck output. Oh, that's weird. Uh, let me see, maybe I connected to the wrong spot. See you in a moment. And here we go. That's and we are playing. I see Azimut is way off on this deck. Let's see, six kilogears, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, levels are not stable. Okay, let me see. Let me adjust it. Left, right channel is different, maybe because the face alignment. So let me see this door. Should be removable. If not, this would be a bummer. <laughs> uh, I need to check how because I don't see probably this one. No, it doesn't go. Okay, let me check service manual. We need to remove this door to adjust azimut. Uh, yeah, you see, we don't have tape. It's already show some levels so probably something else is happening with this deck so let me see what i can do see soon hey guys i was able to remove the door cover you can just pull it up when the door is open so you will not break anything it just sits firm and now i'm removing the top cover and that's uh top cover weight like uh six seven pounds you see it has thick sheet of metal uh, additionally glue it to the cover itself so it's it's really heavy let's put it aside in a safe place and that's what we have internally so power supply on this side and tape transport control and this one let me see what those chips are
Sony CXA14175. It's, it's a Dolby chips, but I didn't see that before. And there are two more. Interesting. And it's a record, and record amplifier, I believe. This one is playback amplifier. And this one is record amplifier. All right. And uh, here is fully covered tape transports. So it's built like a tank. Everything is so thick, so heavy, so sturdy. Uh, let's believe that this will sound the same cool as it looks like. Because this deck is, is one of the last built by Tiak. So let's see. So far, disassembling. And this way it takes a like, lot of time. Now I will be removing the front cover. Top cover, like it's been 13 screws for the top cover. Imagine that, right? Now, like, let's see front cover, I believe 10 more. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Hey, hello everyone. Finally, I was able to remove tape transport. So it's required the assembly of side panels. I removed them from each side. Uh, it's uh, required to unclick on this position, the front panel, and remove all knobs to be able like, to pull uh, front panel back here. Unclick it here. You see it's on, see it's on connectors here and here. Here is the power button, which goes <laughs> through the half of the deck. Uh, this one is a CD input button. Again, pretty interesting design. Wow. So technically, the, I like the how this deck is built. Everything, everything, everything is very high-grade technology. Like everything is brand new and it's uh, tightly covered. It looks like new. But the assembly is a little bit of nightmare. Uh, that's how many parts we have to remove a uh, front panel just to get the transport out of there oh yeah now i can work on it independently from this uh, large body so yes yeah, this was records amplifier this one this one is playback amplifier so playback heads connects here a record head connects here, a rise head here. And it's 150 kilohertz uh, bias deck, so it should be recording better. All right, moving on. I mentioned that when we complete with the tape transport, we would need to see, so there is like a hum noise coming. It may be quite long the process to find where it comes from. And there is no guarantee of success. Let's see. So, see you soon.